What's up guys? Grant Chan here with Rise Magic and today we are doing one of our most requested videos. That is right, top five decks for cardistry. Coming in at number five is the Dan and Dave Smoke and Mirror series of playing cards. Now anyone who takes cards seriously or magic in general is going to know who Dan and Dave is. This deck of cards and Dan and Dave in general are an absolute classic in the industry and they're the OG, the godfathers of cardistry and magic. Now, aside from just looking good, this deck of cards feels fantastic. Coming out of the box, the sides of them are smooth, they fan well, they handle and cut well, and overall they're going to last you a while. I've had many of these decks of cards in the past, and they've lasted me for each deck. Some of them I still use now, that I started probably around 8 or 9 years ago. And on their store now, they're only running for about $12 for a deck. So, for something classy, elegant, and with as much history as the Smoke and Mirrors deck it has, you can't go wrong with it. Alright, so coming in at number four is the Karshi Touch deck. Now this is a very recent release. We actually just made a deck review on this deck of cards. Now if you watch that, you'll get a lot more in-depth information about the deck of cards. But just to summarize, the deck will come in around $16, but the design is absolutely jaw-dropping. The colors pop, as you can see in this video we're showing you right now, and one thing that's unique about this deck of cards is really how smooth the deck is and how it feels like it's broken in right when you open it. It has a really unique box, actually the first of its kind, and what also makes this deck very unique for cardistry is that all of the faces are exactly the same. It's just one pattern. All about that geometric design and making cool images when you flourish cards. This deck is also very soft and easy to spring and snap and flick cards. So it's a great practice deck and looks fantastic to use. Now, the number three spot goes to the Knox, their NOC playing cards. Not only are these fairly inexpensive, you can pick them up for about four or five dollars, but they're one of the best practice decks that you can get your hands on. They have an extremely minimal design, so there's not, nothing gonna be distracting away with that. They pack it well, and they're really almost indestructible. We've dropped these in the snow, had them around water, they've gotten wet, and they're still usable. In terms of packeting, top notch. They're going to be one of the best practice decks that you have for anything packets or cutting related. Now for fans, you're not going to want to use this deck of cards, but other than that, they're a phenomenal deck for an extremely affordable price. Coming in at number two is the classic, the iconic Monarch playing cards by 311. You can get these in green, in red, in black for the Now You See Me 2 editions in navy blue, in white, in gold. There's been a lot of series of this decks of cards. Now, they look incredible. We actually chose to use them for our cardistry battle video. If you haven't seen that, you can check it out in the description. But we thought they were a phenomenal deck of cards to showcase our skills when we made our cardistry battle video. And uh, we're massive fans of them. And then the big thing in here is, is that when you're using this deck, you'd be surprised at how many people actually recognize the cards from the Now You See Me movies. I've had it told me multiple times if I'm using the deck for Magic or Cardistry that, hey, that's the deck of cards that was in the movie. So you've got an added bonus in using the cards there. Now, the cards are pretty cheap actually, relatively speaking, they're about nine or $10 on Amazon. And one thing that's nice about this deck is it's a very elegant looking design while not being too over the top and too complex. It's a nice mix between simplistic and minimal and elegant and classy. So coming in at number one, if you have falls at all, you probably have seen this coming, but the Tally Ho deck of playing cards. Now these come in red and blue and black. I think I've seen almost every color out there. They have the circle back and the fan back. We personally prefer the circle back, but what's important about this deck of cards is that it's cheap. Yep. It's two dollars, two dollars forty-five cents. You can get a brick of them for about thirty dollars, and they are going to handle just as well as the top of the line playing cards. Now with something like cardistry, what's almost the most impressive thing about cardistry is you're taking a normal looking object and doing something extraordinary with it. So if you're using a really fancy looking deck, lots of people think it might be the deck of cards that's assisting you in your skill. When you're using a deck like Tally Ho's, which looks as basic as anything, while still looking at with having cool geometric designs, there's almost more amazement involved because the deck looks so normal and you're doing such extraordinary things with it. All right, guys, so that wraps it up. This is our top five best decks for cardistry. Now, there might be some omissions 
Let us know what you think in the comments. You know I love chatting with you guys. Stay tuned for our top five best decks for card magic coming very soon. And then uh, we got something special planned. Yep. So, you're going to check out Fry's Magic. We'll see you in the next video. Yo. I just got done watching your top five decks for cards through video, and the birds and the fontaines are not in it. Explain yourself. Well, like, yo. <laughs> First off, thanks for watching. Second off, those decks of cards resell for about 80 to maybe $400. Like, I can't recommend that kids go out and buy Verts or Fontaines when they cost that much money. It's just a deck of cards. It might handle well, it might look great, but they're not, there's no deck of cards is worth over $50. That's ridiculous. But you're getting, you're getting so much that, like, you're getting the prestige of knowing that you own Fontaines or Verts, and they're just going to be high-quality playing cards. How can how can you not include them? Like, yeah, maybe some kid won't be able to afford them, but anyone who does, they're just gonna... They've got, like, all the prestige in the world, and people are gonna know that you're what's up. Like, you need frog canes or birds. You, you, you don't at all, dude. Your, your skill does not come for what deck of cards you have. Any good cardist can do anything with any deck of cards, and you certainly don't need to spend over $50 on 52 pieces of paper just for some status symbol. I mean, I'm sure they're great cards, but it's just not worth that much money. I can't sit here and recommend it in my top five when they cost that much. Um, I can't take you guys seriously if you're not having the birds and you can't recommend them. I bet you don't even have them. So, I'm disliked and unsubscribe. Bye. All right. I went well. And I've been trying to dig my way out of the ocean And punch a hole in the sky And float the light to